Hey guys, this video is a video about a basic loadout that you're going to wear if you're a Vietnam rifleman with M16. So, start out, you got, normally you carry two of these pouches, and these are M56 Universal Magazine pouches, but uh, these magazines are a little big, that's why they fit in there perfectly. Normally, the troops would stuff like cardboard and stuff in the bottom to keep their M16 mags up higher, and uh, they fit the M14 mags better but uh, they were issued to everyone and later in the war they shortened them. This one's an early war, it's got the grommet in the pull tab and it's got a metal plate in the front and these two are later war, they have no grommet and a piece of rubber in the pull tab and no metal plate in the front so they tend to lose their shape more and uh, all of these were, these two were five to six dollars and this one came in a set with a pair of late date suspenders but uh, it was an early war magazine pouch, so I guess they got mixed up. Um, they also have grenade tabs. Lost the uh, cotter pins, but I'm just using that right now. That slides in there, and you just button that up. I know it's uh, pineapple, but they use lemons in Vietnam. Uh, H suspenders. And I uh, got these for six bucks uh, with butt pack. I know the butt pack's not real Vietnam, but it was cheap, and it works. And, uh, most, and this is an M56 uh, E-Tool cover. Got that for $5. That's just my World War II E-Tool cover. And this is an M67 uh, canteen cover with M67 canteen. And these are original water purification tablets that would go in there. And this one is an M56 web canteen cover. And uh, it's got my uh, World War II repro aluminum canteen in there because I don't have another plastic one. Um, this is the Colt pouch, and it's just got Colt BB gun in it right now. This is the uh, Compass first aid pouch. Keep my spare CO2 in there. And this is an original Vietnam bandage, uh, dated 77. A little late, but it's close enough. And uh, that would normally go up here on the shoulder tab, but I don't do that because the rifle gets in the way. This it gets in the way of the rifle. But uh, on the other shoulder tab, I have a knife. It's not real army, but it's got a little tab thing that fits in there nice, so I just keep it on that. And uh, underneath is the M69 flak vest, and uh, this belt is fit that. But when it's not on, it's a little loose, but it still works. And of course, M1 helmet. Uh, you got your bug juice. Uh, I got your aces. Can't leave without those. And uh, the uh, chin strap is up in the back and uh, liner. So that's pretty much a basic Vietnam loadout for uh, infantry riflemen. Uh, this is another look you could go for if you're going for like the jungle type look. Uh, you got the same basic loadout. Um, you got your, normally this would be like the poplin ripstop jacket with the uh, slanted pockets, but I don't have one of those right now, so this is just a fatigue shirt sleeves rolled up. Um, you still got the same basic gear as the other infantrymen, all the same uh, web gear and stuff. And uh, most of them would carry a towel, the towel under the suspenders. So either uh, keep the weight off of most of the gear, like if you're going to carry a rifle like this, then keep the weight off. And uh, also keep the sweat off the back of their neck. And sometimes they put it down and pull them off. And uh, so pretty much keeping everything the 